Well, here we have an article. I saw this on my main page, my main uh, email provider. And uh, I'll tell you, this is just really shaking my faith in the Bible. I just, oh man, I don't know what I'm going to do now. This, this just, this science just blows me away. There's a thing on snakes here. How snakes lost their legs has been a mystery to scientists. Huh? Uh, we know that they lost them, so we just got to find the proof now. See the evolutionary bias these religious fanatics have? Dr. Hong Yu Yi says in press release from the University of Edinburgh, but that mystery may have finally been, may have, look at that, this is science here, may have finally been solved thanks to a 90 million year old skull and advanced CT scan technology. <laughs> okay, they create the technology to tell themselves that, yes, it did evolve. Yeah. It's been long theorized that the ancestors of modern snakes lost their limbs when they evolved to live in the sea. Researchers at the University of Edinburgh determined that's not quite right when they used a CT scan to create a detailed 3D model of the skull of a whatever the little Latin funny word that they use there, a close relative of modern snakes, and compared it to those of modern reptiles. What they found was a unique structure in the inner ear that controls balance and hearing and is shared only by burrowing animals. Wow, fascinating. Modern snakes that live in water don't have it. U using that information, researchers determined the ancestors of modern snakes actually lost their limbs in order to hunt and live in burrows. Wow, what science. According to the press release, the inner ears of fossils can reveal a remarkable amount of information and are very useful when the exterior of fossils are too damaged or fragile to examine. He says, the study also confirmed the six and a half foot long wingy wacky there as largest burrowing snake ever uh, the results were published Friday in Science Advances the study confirms a Yale study from earlier this year that found snakes evolved on land and not in water UPI reports that study used genomes fossils and more to determine the ancestors of modern snakes lost their front legs approximately 128 million years ago though they still had tiny hind legs now, I have to disagree here. Approximately 128 million years ago? That's nonsense. Absolute nonsense. It was 127,693,592 and a half years ago. <laughs> what a bunch of junk. You know, this is science. You know, a bunch of people sitting around, you know, professors at Yale. And there's, you know, we need to do a study on how the snake lost its legs. Wow. You know, it'll go down in history as... The day that we discovered how snakes lost their legs and how mankind just moved forward from there and it just helped people. It cured hunger and ended poverty and everything because we know how snakes lost their legs. You see what this is? These morons will do whatever it takes to try and destroy the Bible. Try and overthrow the Bible. They're, they've lost their minds. Love this one too here. I think this is fun. Study. Men with beards more likely to be sexist. <laughs> Okay, yeah, study. Let's study that now. But I have some really, really good news for everybody. Um, the, the snakes, you know, snakes don't have their legs anymore, okay? But I was able to find some creatures that are still in the process of evolving, right? Remember they lost their legs because they were burrowing? Well, guess what? Are you ready? This is exciting. I, I'm going to get a grant to study this. Here we go. <gasps> It's a groundhog. And look at the poor guy. He's looking at his leg, at his hand. He's going, ah, if I could just get rid of this thing, I could burrow so much better. Look at it. Look at how inefficient this would be, you know, having a leg. Just imagine that thing getting in the way when he's trying to dig a hole in the ground. Yeah, it would be much easier not to have that thing. So just keep watching groundhogs, you know. Let's get some professors from Yale together and have them go out and just watch groundhogs for the next 30 years and watch their legs eventually evolve away because they don't need them to burrow. It's fascinating. And guess what? I found more evidence of evolution. Look at this. Oh, not that one. This one. Another tab. <laughs> Prairie dogs. There's four of them. They got legs. Look at those legs. Poor little critters. They're just not evolving. Come on, guys. Follow the example of your, your brother, the snake. Lose those legs, you'll burrow so much more efficiently. <laughs> what a bunch of stupid nonsense. 
The fool hath said in his heart, there is no God. These people are just so wicked. They lose their minds. God turns them over to a reprobate mind after a while. You know, so again, just to show you, you know, that we know that snakes lost their legs. Well, keep watching. Watch for the groundhog and then the prairie dog. You know, they're going to lose their legs too, I guess, apparently. Uh, if you believe in evolution, I suggest you get on your knees and get your dirty heart right with God. Uh, you're a sinner. Jesus Christ died to save sinners. Um, there's no science to disprove the Bible. Give me a break. This is this is religion here. Religion of pagans.